Hey, look. Look at the camera. You say hi. Say hi. You wave. What's going on, guys? Long time no see, huh? Yeah, I know. The last video I did was quite a few months ago. Yeah, yeah. I'm not dead. I'm still alive. Yeah. Anyways, I know this isn't a fishing video. I'm going to put that out there right now. This is a video that goes towards S&J restoration that I haven't done since the last video, which was on the 2004 Chevy Impala replacing the headlight. Today, we're working on my truck, 1999 Ford F350. And no, it's not a diesel, it's a V10. So for all you V10 haters out there, eh, I don't care. Anyhow, I've got a gooseneck ball in the bed of my truck. I'm having to pull that out. In today's video, we're gonna show you how to pull that out my way of pulling things out anyways so stay tuned and we'll be right back with you should take that away from the two-year-old all right guys well you heard in a little intro deal there that uh we're working on a gooseneck ball yeah it normally goes in the middle of the bed we've done everything to try to get this thing out normally when you take it out you've got this lever that you can pull and i'll show you the lever here in just a second normally you pull that lever back out and it's a pin that goes through a ball and yes i know that probably looks inappropriate and get your head out of the gutter but when you pull that pin out of the ball, you're supposed to be able to lift up and it's supposed to come out. Now you would think the middle of it would, or the bottom of it would be circle. Well, no, it's kind of like that shape. It's a weird shape. It's not circle. It wouldn't pull out. So we hammered on it. We picked on it and everything else to try to get all the gunk out. Whoever line next this previously line next over the freaking ball itself. So it got caked up. I went probably two, three weeks bringing WD-40 down in the cracks and it got to where it was going all the way through. So I know we had good, now keep your head out of the gutter here, it had good penetration. So I ended up taking my jack and my chains. I put the jack in the bed, I wrapped my chain around it and I tried to jack it up out. Well, it, that didn't work. Then we ended up doing some other things, we tried to get it out and that didn't work. Well, I got a buddy that's got an I-beam that we went over to his house and tried to get it out that way well <laughs> mind you this is a one-ton truck yeah it lifted the whole back end of my truck up and out or up not up and out what am i talking about up and the ball still didn't come out we even hammered on it so i decided to say screw it let's cut the damn thing out now we only got the cutting portion i haven't got down to where i can get it completely out it's just flush now to where we can haul rock and that's pretty much what you're going to be seeing in this video is us cutting that ball out if you don't think it's interesting, oh well, you know, it's something to put up there for you guys. Uh, it's gonna be hopefully sped up with some music and some other things in there for Junior. But let's go ahead and go around the corner and I'll show you guys that lever I'm talking about. This here is the lever that you would normally have to pull. And you pull it out that way and there's a deal up inside that will pull out of that ball. I don't know how well you guys can see that but it's that little circle deal like right there is where that hitch goes in. And then when you pull this out like that, it pulls the bar out to where you can get the ball out. Well, that didn't happen. <laughs> so that's why we did what we did today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the little video I got for you guys of the sped up version of cutting this thing off. It's something, it ain't much, but at least I'm getting something out there. And till the end of the video, we'll see y'all then.
puts a rake by the truck and you step on it and you get yourself in the jewels. That sucks. But hey, at least we got the other ball off. Keep the comments clean. Should I probably fill something with water? So I can just start dropping these in once I get them cut. And for everybody else watching out there, invest in one of these, just in case you have a pyro friend that likes to catch shit on fire. I don't do this shit. <laughs> well, everybody, you're probably gonna see this video here pretty soon. Everybody tell the birthday boy happy birthday. He turns three on Friday. And he's three and I've already got him out here doing yard work. <laughs> cool. Yeah, take the leaks off there. The leaps. Leaks. <laughs> yeah. 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 Can't believe it's been three years, guys. Hey, you guys remember when he was just a baby? I know I haven't put a video up in a while, but you know how it goes. Just don't have motivation for it. Which is bad. <laughs> hey, hey, the leaves, not the rocks. Even though that's a rock rake, but still. Ah, oh, the Mr. No Gloves finally wants gloves. Yeah, because it has. Because nothing's been hot, but now the grinder's hot. <laughs> you all remember Logan? I just want to get it done. Say hi to, Lo Say hi to everybody. He going to ignore you. Who's everybody? Oh, hi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The whole 145 subscribers I've got. <laughs> Only thing is, this video is a uh, SI, son of a biscuit eating bulldog. That motherfucker's hot. Excuse my French. I'm gonna have to bark myself. It's not hot. I know. I'm over exaggerating. It's warm though. Is it really? Yeah, it's a little warm. I can't feel it, so. Only thing is, this is for SJ restoration, but yet it's going on SJ bass fishing. So a non fishing video is going on a fishing YouTube channel. Ain't that something? <laughs> Hey, get back up to the house. Come on. The rocks don't need sweeping. Unless you're talking about the rocks that are supporting Joe Biden. Sorry, don't mean to go there, but I'm going there. Yeah. Yeah, leaves. Say leaves. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh.
Junior. You guys are probably wondering why I got paint. If not, then you already know. Just painting it to try to avoid the rust in a way. And to make it look a little bit nicer. Yeah, it's yellow, but oh well. Well guys, that was the little sped up version of that video of taking that gooseneck ball out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I know I probably said enjoyed um, way too many times in this, but again, oh well. I'll edit it out or something. But anyways, if you look behind me, see that yellow mark. That's where the ball was at one point. Now, it's all flattened, smoothed out to where when I get around the hauling and rocking this thing again, I won't have a big, huge, giant ball in the way. Again, keep inverted comments to yourself. And I could haul other things like sheetrock, wood, anything like that. Don't have to worry about it breaking or causing an issue. Anyhow, until next time, guys, I appreciate you at least tuning in on this video. I know it ain't much and it's nothing too crazy, but it's something. So hopefully the next video, hopefully the next video won't be so long. It probably will be, but until I get around to getting to where I can do more things and more time on my hands, it'll be a little bit easier. And time on my hands, meaning get a little bit older, make it a little bit easier to get to you guys. But until next time, guys, you keep it real and be good. And we'll catch y'all on the next one. Bye. Big.